3DGG plots with Ray Shader. We'll know how to create beautiful 3DGG plots. And what fills all these requirements? ggplot. If ggplot2 is a 2D plotting library, is there a ggplot3 I don't know about? The X and Y aesthetics are built into ggplot, into our ggplot. We can then extract a matrix of height values from our ggplot by swapping the ggplot's palette to a grayscale black and white. We then drop this into plot 3D along with the ggplot texture, and now we have our 3D ggplot. You just pass in the ggplot object, drop in your ggplot, and watch it grow. Instead of passing in a single ggplot, we just pass in a list of two ggplots. So, in summary, Transform your ggplots about 3D ggplots with Ray Shader. I don't think ggplot2 was out. Uh... Talking a bit a little off topic about uh, ggplot2, because ggplot2 is what originally sold me on R, uh, but ggplot2 was amazing because ggplot2 was just so good, and in my opinion, and it, it is like ggplot2 in many ways, it, but it has in some ways even more powers than ggplot2. Just as quick ggplot to Vega Light terminology, imagine m m much more of you are familiar with ggplot. In, in ggplot, where you'd call, talk about a geom, that's a mark, and ggvega, which is a package to take a ggplot object and geom. So I want like a VL mark point, VL mark bar. So I'm, I'm here today to talk to you about programming with ggplot2. I imagine that all of you uh, use ggplot2, or many of you use ggplot2. And, and those are all uh, great uses of ggplot2. Um, so reverse dependency checks are something that, that the ggplot2 team uh, are preparing a release for, uh, for ggplot on ggplot2, and over 2,500 that use it. So there's a lot of ggplot code on CRAN. Um, but for the most part, as a fresh ggplot2 intern, a lot of ggplot2 code. And, and so the result of that was this vignette using ggplot2 of the uh, ggplot2 package down site, the main site for ggplot2. And uh, uh, the release of ggplot2, the next version, and uh, then it will be on the, the main ggplot2 website. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, something much like the ggplot. So we've, we've ggplot knows that, that uh, class, for example, is that uh, ggplot now knows that dot data is a stand-in for MPG. I make a function for ggplot, so uh, that I've had personally with uh, programming with ggplot2. And we can use this trick with ggplot. You can add null to a ggplot, and it changes nothing. Because without it, you'd have to define two ggplots. Uh, it helps clean up your actual ggplot specification. Uh, for just using ggplot and a function, uh, ggplot and a function is uh, using the fact that adding null to the end of a ggplot does nothing. Uh, of a ggplot, pretty clean. It can add a list of things uh, to a ggplot. If you want to use uh, ggplot2 in a package, that I'd put in a package for it was ggplot2, uh, two was like four lines of a ggplot. Like there, there was like really four lines of ggplot code. But you can also do this thing where you import uh, from ggplot2 within your package without having to do the ggplot2 uh, colon. And if you use ggplot2 a lot, uh, then this will keep your ggplot2 looking really uh, ggplot2 colon colon. And ggplot2 is smart enough to know that you can pass directly into ggplot2. Um, so in ggplot2, we use this and a change in our code and ggplot2's code that it doesn't have to be ggplot2. So using ggplot2 in a package, you might be familiar with to refer to objects in ggplot2. So we can actually import specific functions from ggplot2 so that we don't have to use ggplot2 colon colon, so that your first line doesn't have to be ggplot2 colon colon, opening parentheses, ggplot2 colon. I'm not going to talk about um, ggplot themes. We have our ggplot themes, um, the code for the ggplot themes, all that into every project. In just a second, um, custom ggplot2 themes and all this extra ggplot2 theme code and things like that. To the more exciting stuff like machine learning and ggplot2. The ggplot2. Plot. This is again a ggplot. And ggplot2 to, to write our reports. Also ggplot map view, which I don't even know what that is. Um, now again, people that are experienced with ggplot. We're going to use ggplot2 uh, in the demo, but we're going to use a dialect of ggplot2 called slow ggplot. And slow ggplot2 is literally only the wonderful ggplot. So everything that we're going to be doing is native. Uh, to ggplot2 to have one ggplot statement. About creating a ggplot where you have a statement where contrasting this with slow ggplot, we start with data, 
pipe that into ggplot statement, um, get their own ggplot statement. So, so I'm gonna just use the cars data set, pipe that to ggplot. And ggplot, shiny, and our markdown. So what we do then is we show it in a ggplot. You take that ggplot that we did in the last chart, all you do is you just put it into ggplotly. Sort of complicated make files. And this was all done using lots of dplyr, uh, ggplot, shiny app. It makes a bar plot uh, using ggplot and uh, provides. Using ggplot, um, a theme, a theme pack. And that conversation with ggplot, that prototyping, you know, some sort of ggplot to d3 conversion. There's kind of, you're doing like a ggplot. So I want to learn how to make animated gg. Uh, ggplot, geom raster actually lets me draw the dinosaur on a ggplot, grid extra to arrange a lot of ggplots on the same chart, um, that can take an image in a ggplot. Loaded the SVG into the ggplot, which I originally had a slide on. Like ggplot code. Uh, so this is some ggplot code. We have ggplot of our heights data set on the x-axis with ggplot extension. Perfect. ggplot actually, so. This is actually based on data and a ggplot two figure. Uh, back at home, who needs GG plots and other results? So this GIF here was made by throwing several GG plots in one just limited to GG plots. Uh, the Incoming R package called GG plot two. The stuff I do claim is my GG plot theme. Your own rank in GG plot. Uh, back then, GG plot existed, but it was far from dominant. So we have GG plot. You have GG plot. Pass it a data frame. Pass it aesthetics. If I do GG plot. I can get a lot more control. It's much different from ggplot2's language, uh, but you can also just convert any ggplot2 graphic to Plotly automatically uh, if you like the way ggplot2 laid it. What happened to my ggplot2 plots? I discovered like ggplot2 and things that became the tidyverse input box and create the ggplot time series uh, for the plot and feed that into gg in the ggplot. Uh, visualization call. Do not use gg, ggplot. But perhaps importantly for, for me, none of these is ggplot2. And as, as, uh, as you may know, he uses ggplot2 to create everything, as well as uh, Dewey Dunnington, who's talking about ggplot2. And it's about improving text rendering in ggplot. Is you may want to mix italics and normal text in ggplot into a bar plot with just three lines of ggplot, right? You take the data, pipe it into ggplot, um, put name on x and value. It's just waiting for the next release of ggplot. So we have to tell ggplot that now it should, if you've ever used themes in ggplot, and so now I pipe this into ggplot and we stick it into ggplot. And then this goes into ggplot, into a geom rich text, which, which provides the interface to ggplot your own ggplot extensions. dplyr, then ggplot2. Merging frenzy in ggplot2. So from dplyr and uh, ggplot2, for example, in, these, in, in dplyr and ggplot2, normally you... ggplot3, question mark? ...understand how some of the... how we could fix some of the mistakes in ggplot2. That's cool, but look at the background of this ggplot. You have a ggplot, or a base plot, or a lattice. Uh, kind of tricky to do with ggplot, but luckily. So <clears throat> one thing I actually like a lot about the default ggplot theme. We're taking a little sidestep away from ggplot because every time you render a ggplot and help out with um, ggplot development, which is meant to solve, and not just for ggplot. Although these, pa these functions are mostly used with ggplot uh, plots, you actually, that you're used to in ggplot, and use them in base R, can really help make you a ggplot wizard, what the code would look like in ggplot. You see transformations in ggplot every time you use the ggplot uh, has built in. Throughout ggplot, um, in ggplot for a long time, might remember that the original log, uh, that works really well in the ggplot scale framework, is one of ggplot's data sets because the scale underscore date uh, functions in ggplot are ready. Uh, but this is how you get all of those colors in ggplot. And you can see all of these in action in ggplot2, apply them outside of ggplot, like ggplot. But I don't want to pull it all the way through ggplot from ggplot and make it available to the rest of the art. Because if you do it in ggplot right, they will overwrite themselves. But why aren't these just built into ggplot2? Well, 
Gigi Plot 2 is a really big package to maintain, so these things are accessible outside of ggplot, um, inside the ggplot package to have all of scales, which is like dplot or ggplot, where you can just- that ggplot2 can support is much broader than the- you know, Okay, ggplot. Um, there's an awesome ggplot talk going on, right? Use ggplot. 